And so, ladies and gentlemen, before the event officially kicks start, the band Panpa, we treat you to some indigenous Ghanaian palm wine music. Indigenous music from Ghana. Palm wine music. What the battery mouse is suggesting them. Sad. And so, relax and enjoy some indigenous Ghanaian music. Specifically, palm wine music. From uh, uh, we rise as we welcome the second league of the Republic. We should take the necessary precaution. When we fill our LPG cylinders to the brim or to the max, what it means is that the molecules of the gas are not able to expand and to have free movement when the cylinder body is introduced to any heat source. And therefore, the molecules will try to escape through the weakest joints on the cylinder body. One thing that we should also bear in mind is that after every five years, we should send our LPG cylinders for professional testing. Why must we send our cylinders for testing? Because at any point in time, you know, cylinders or the gas itself um, operates under pressure, intense pressure. And therefore, we must be able to send them for such testing so that um, the, the professionals will be able to tell us as to whether the cylinder body has enough capacity to contain media people, even um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you in the greetings of Islam, saying assalamu alaikum. Um, that they do the trumpeting for me. Oftentimes in Ghana, when you blow your own horn, you are deemed as arrogant or condescending. And therefore, I would let others blow my trumpet for me. Um, and for the NP. So what I would say in short is that better in this country is to help to eradicate energy poverty. And that we are launching today's um, LPG promotion program in order to make LPG available, affordable, and accessible to the Ghanaian people. We are for achieving sustained growth LPG usage. Your Excellency, let me use this opportunity to reiterate my ministry's initiative to give about 2 million LPG cookstoves and related accessories to new users of LPG in rural households, very urban households and urban areas across the country under the National LPG Promotion Program. We observe that age-old charcoal industry continues to thrive and the market for it even exists largely in the big cities. This picture is akin to the tale of two cities. Why is there still a large demand for charcoal in the cities? While the number of LPG users grow in the cities, so is the demand for charcoal. We need to commence action on addressing alternative livelihoods for families that depend on the charcoal business for their sustenance in order to curb the onslaught on the already depleting forest cover. relies heavily on solid biomass fuels for domestic and commercial cooking and heating. The effects and impacts of these solid biomass fuels such as firewood and charcoal and kerosene together with inefficient cook stoves cannot be overemphasized. Unfortunately, the simple act of cooking using unclean cooking solutions and fuels leads to household air pollution and is responsible for over 20,000 premature deaths annually in Ghana and for non-communicable diseases such as stroke, heart-related diseases, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and lung cancer. The World Health Organization estimates how as deforestation through the harvesting of wood and sometimes even economic trees, such as shared trees, oak trees, even roads, adverse impacts on the quality of life cannot be overemphasized. 
LPG as an alternate fuel, cooking fuel. I'm glad that the MPA through this campaign is promoting to declare the nationwide LPG sensitization and awareness campaign duly launched. I thank you all. God bless our home.